Hello dear viewers, I am uh, very excited again to be here today uh, to uh, present another work of art with uh, words. Today I'm going to do this presentation in a different way. I'll talk about the art and uh, every once in a while I'll stop and answer some questions. So this presentation is going to be done more like of a conversational or an interview style because we have, have so many many symbols and each one of them requires some depth explanation. This piece I have here is uh, called Tribute to Education. So through this piece I'm actually showing the importance of education in society. It's a piece that I uh, created by using uh, acrylic paint which is a water-based paint on canvas. This picture over here highlights the role education has in the community. I always say if the whole community were an airplane, education would be actually the engines that would propel that society, that would be those engines that would make the whole society move forward. So in this piece, I am really showing how education can help you go from one place to another place how education can actually help you move uh, from a low level to a high level. So uh, we have a variety of symbols in this piece and the first uh, symbol I would like to talk about is this symbol over here. It's actually a tunnel and we can see it over here. It's really dark and we have those people crawling out of that, the, that tunnel and that symbolizes uh, the condition of ignorance when you are really in a dark place and you do not see very much. And I'm, what I'm showing here for these people actually to make it up and see enlightenment, they actually have to use the books as a ladder to finally have enlightenment. And I'm also trying to show once you are educated, you become a free person because you can read, you can write, you become independent because you, you can actually follow directions and do a lot of things on your own. That's why I actually have uh, the image of this flying bird. The flying bird also has another meaning. The other meaning also is that for a person to acquire uh, education, they have to be willing to travel, to go to many places. And that is symbolized also here by this bird that uh, flies. So I'm just going to stop here for a minute and see if there are any questions. Yes, um, I also see that there's a Sankofa bird and in that meaning, as far as the tribute to education goes, how does that correlate? That's a great question. The Sankofa bird is a symbol that I borrowed uh, from the Ghanaians. It's an Adinkra symbol. What the Sankofa says is for a person to move forward in their life, mm -hmm. they have to be willing to look back in their past. So what I'm simply trying to say here is for a person also to be educated, they have to be willing to look back to their elders and see the way they lived and also get from the experiences that would enlighten them to move forward. And that's exactly what the Sankofa says. Mm -hmm. Because the Sankofa bird is a symbol that shows a bird that actually have the head turned mm -hmm. and in the beak has the seed of wisdom. And as it has the seed of wisdom, it's fully equipped to move forward. And also learning from your past uh, means you have to understand that whatever you have right now is due to the fact that your ancestors have helped build it. If it's good, you, you take the good things and you apply them. If also there were some mistakes in the past, you still take those mistakes and learn from them. Mm -hmm. This is the connection between the Sankofa and education. Because mm -hmm. another important side of education is the willingness to look back and learn from the ones who preceded you so you can really move forward. Mm -hmm. Also too, um, I noticed that there are flowers on the left side. That's um, a quick, roses. Uh-huh, we have mm -hmm. roses. Yes, we mm -hmm. have roses. We also have a, a tulip over there. Mm -hmm. What I'm simply uh, trying to show is uh, another positive side of learning. Mm -hmm. Usually, when you learn a lot, you you have you are you you uh, more, you are more inclined to love people. You are more inclined to be a tolerant person. 
Because those people who learn a lot, they can actually see things from many angles. So they no longer judge people based on from where they are. They know their experience and they fully understand that the world is actually a variety of cultures and they're willing to accept others for, uh, for what they are. So it's that love and that open-mindedness that education gives you. That's why I actually symbolize it uh, with flowers because education actually uh, makes you more loving. It makes mm -hmm. you more uh, tender towards mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And also, is there a reason why the books are in the order that they are in? I just wanted to uh, show those books and place them in such a way that it, they look more like a, a staircase. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to show, uh, if you actually read and you go through these books, it's actually those books turned into like a staircase that help you uh, climb uh, mm -hmm. into uh, enlightenment. That's why uh, I have all those books. And the ways that I represented those books, I try to show so much uh, variety in learning. So some of those books, we have civilizations across the world, we have geometry, we have science, because it takes all those subjects for a person to be fully equipped and then they really balance and then face the world. Because I don't believe in such a thing, well, I'm just a math person, I just need to deal with numbers. Oh, no, 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 no. I only have to worry about literature. It actually takes all these things, different subjects, to help you be a very well-rounded uh, person. And it's not by chance that I uh, arrange the books uh, staircases. Because the same way the staircases allow you to go up, mm -hmm. when you go through these books, they help you also go up and gain more knowledge and wisdom. Okay, and there, there's like a wave mm -hmm. um, on the right side. Right here? Yeah, where the flower is. Yeah, what does that mean? It's actually a, this, it ha actually has the same meaning of that bird's that flies, mm -hmm. which simply means if you want to be a learned person, it's not only about books, it's also about being able to move around the world, be able to go to many places. So that movement here is actually captured by this spiral. Mm -hmm. And also I would like to add one more thing. Since this is about education, I wanted to include some quotations that highlight the importance of education in society. Mm -hmm. For example, we have this quotation from Men Leon, a great scholar, who said, every addition to true knowledge is an addition to human power. If I break mm -hmm. it down, let's say a, a scientist or, or a person invents something, mm -hmm. and that thing is mass-produced. It ends up being something for the benefit and uplift of the people. Let's say, for example, Orville and Wilbur Wright invented an airplane. It's not just for their benefit. Now, the same airplane, they can duplicate those scientific principles, and that's why today we are where we are. Mm -hmm. Aviation got a whole lot better because Orville and Wilbur Wright, in 1903, mm -hmm. were able to get that airplane together. Mm -hmm. Thomas Edison, in his lab, perfected the incandescent light bulb. That's why today we have all those incandescent light bulbs in people's houses. And that's actually what it says over here. So every time one person get something uh, powerful in terms of knowledge or invent something, it ends up becoming for the benefit and uplift of the world. And also we have another powerful quotation here uh, on education from Nelson Mandela, which says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And which is true, because we know that during the days of slavery, those people who were able to read and write were able to organize and help free uh, other enslaved people. We know, for example, uh, the, the, the case of Frederick Douglass, who was able to learn to read, and because now he's able to read and write, know about his rights, he could actually go out there and organize other people and help them get to a freedom. And here we have another uh, profound quotation from Martin Luther King Jr., the great civil rights activist, it says, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Which simply means, you may know, you may read all the books in the world, but if you don't have discipline, if you don't have a good heart, if you're not res uh, respectful, if you don't have great values, it won't help you uh, anything. Not only, just like I said, not only you have to be very smart, but you also have to be smart with the heart. You have knowledge, but also knowledge have to go with uh, discipline and love for people because 
the world has seen many people who are very intelligent who can plan, but who were criminals like Hitler. They have the intelligence how to organize, but it was directed towards uh, evil ends. So not only you have that education, but if that education is coupled with a great character, now you can make a difference in the world. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you another time for another Ken's Art presentation. Thank you.